Hello, I was trying to find some VSDI plugins that could help me to achieve a workflow in Cubase, like in Ableton, where you can stack few loops and jam and uh, swap them. Uh, so I found some plugins and I will tell you about them in this video. But first, let me show you how things work in Ableton. I have prepared a few loops. Okay, and also it can uh, adjust the tempo. And also, if you want, you can disable wrap, and so these clips won't be in synchronization. Now, let's find out if we can have something like that in Cubase. First plugin that I tried uh, is uh, Serato Sample. I did some research and I tried this one. You can load one loop into it and uh, it can sync the tempo with the host. Uh, Yeah, but actually it won't play, uh, it won't play with the host. Y you run Cubase and Serato sample doesn't play. It will play if you bind some, uh, if you create a hot queue, when press here, and when you click on it. Also, this is uh, some uh, MIDI button, so you can trigger it from a MIDI keyboard. I'm pressing MIDI controller and it plays. So basically it works like a sampler. Also you can do like this. Also you can scratch. And you can speed up, you can set uh, the BPM of the audio. But uh, yeah, actually this uh, this not this is not it. This is not the tool that will help you uh, drag and drop few samples and play them simultaneously. Only one sample per instance. Though it can be synced to the host tempo. Okay. Yeah, it also wrap the audio. So that is Serato sample. I, I don't think it it is more useful than just regular sample track in Cubase. So let's go to the next plugin. Also, I tried uh, Rare Groove. It's in trial mode and uh, what this program do? I thought it's like a loop mixture, uh, and you can uh, tune levels between different loops. Uh, I think that would be pretty awesome, but uh, I found out that this thing it split the loop onto layers, and you can remash these layers and solo them like like, but it can be synchronized to the host. Also BPM synchronization. Let's make it slower. I don't get it. Is it synchronized or not? Yeah. Ah, so you should click sync again. And you have layers here.
I think this is a pretty cool software. I think maybe it, it's very creative. It can help you work out some new sounds or loops. But this is not the thing that I was looking for, so Regrover will not work for my task. I have found some workaround with the help of Groove Agent, uh, and I will show you how you can set up it. It's it's really clunky method, and this is the first thing that came to my mind. Uh, but you should do some preparations for this trick. First of all, you should create uh, a MIDI clip uh, that has uh, two bars length and create MIDI notes. Like this. Now you drag this uh, MIDI clip into patterns like this. Uh, now you uh, click follow transport and as you can see my transport is not at the beginning it's here uh, oh, let's go at fifth and now we can drag and drop some uh, loops let's try uh, and also you should uh, click audio warp solo think tempo and uh, as you can see it found out the right the original tempo you can see in uh, the file name Yeah, the disadvantages of this method is that are that when you stop the transport loops are gonna play to the to the end and maybe we can use here until release now it's okay and uh, yeah let's so now let's try to oh great so when you click uh, until release, when you stop transport bar, it will stop here too. Also, if you want to select some pad during the playback, let me add a few more samples. Mm, if you want to select it, it will play. So you can, if you don't want the pads, okay. And here, and also this, and also this, and also this, and also this. Okay. So if you don't want uh, Groove Agent to play these pads when you select them, maybe you would like to use this method to perform live. Um, you can uh, left click uh, on a pad, and then you can do actions here, <laughs> though this menu will come up. So let's try out. Also, let's try to replace some sample. Uh, I want to point your attention that if you will uh, change your sample with the help of this uh, method like replace sample uh, the pad will keep these settings but if you will drag and drop samples like that and you choose replace the settings will be mm, they will get reset okay so uh, I think the, mo uh, the main point is this MIDI file uh, that uh, goes to patterns and it triggers these samples because without this thing it, it will not play when you hit uh, when you hit start
Josh. As you can see, this method is not perfect. Uh, what else can we do in Cubase? Also, Cubase have a function that is called the independent uh, loop. So when you uh, drag and drop some uh, audio file into the project, uh, yeah, let's go and make it synchronized. Uh, also, you can cre create an audio part like that. You can hear can do it here audio uh, it wants to part and I have a hotkey so if you will enter this part you can activate independent track loop uh, it will create locators like that and this means that uh, this loop will play along uh, with the project but it will play only if this window is open, so you should move it to the lower zone, like that. So we can move our transfer bar, bar here. And as you can see, it's still playing. And I guess uh, another method, if you want to replace this loop, you can uh, use method with Alt and Shift. Let me show you. But also I need to fine-tune this uh, sample audio loop in the pool to make it synchronized as well. So maybe this is not the best method to switch samples on the fly. But you can create, I think, a few uh, tracks like that. Let me try. Uh, is it activated here? I don't get it. Uh, it looks like this uh, functionality is not very polished. And here, yeah, it's deactivated. Maybe you can have only one uh, independent loop, I don't know. So I'm just trying to use two independent loops, but I think it's not possible actually. Yeah, you can have only one independent loop. Also, you can uh, use another loop generator, I would say, when you hit F5. You can use these two options, like play in a mm, project context. Do I have some loops here? Let me check. Um. Where is my loops? So you can hit autoplay and in song context. Did you stop? So you can have two loops that are playing independently. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not the easy way to do it. Uh, but uh, this video was about my try to find out how to compile a song of a bunch of audio loops and yeah I should I should admit that this is not an easy task in Cubase especially when you want to swap hot swap loops on a fly that uh, maybe your last way is just to drag and drop all loops one by one into the project and uh, mute them I don't know. So this is my investigation. 
and just share your feedback. May maybe you know some better ways. Tell me in the comments.